Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Psalm 46, the first five verses, reads as thus. And let everybody get it. says this, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamon. Of all the sons in the Bible, 11 of them are contributed to the sons of Korah. These beautiful songs express the spirit and gratitude and humility to an awesome, mighty, good God. Mm. The story of the sons of Korah in the Old Testament began when the Israelites in the time of Moses were journeying through the wilderness. Just after leaving Egypt, God set aside the Levites mm -hmm. out of the tribe of Israel to be those who served him in the tabernacle and beyond. They were ordained to take care of the tabernacle and all of its implements as well as the Ark of the Covenant. The three sons of Levi were Gershom, Merari, and Kohen. Korah was the grandson of Kohen. Mm -hmm. And Korah began all right, but then he began to run with the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. And they roused up a group of 250 men and they challenged Moses and Aaron for the priesthood. As a result, with Moses as the narrator, God opened up the earth mm. and swallowed them whole. Mm. Although this clearly marked the end of Korah, Korah's sons were spared because God still had a purpose and plan even for the line of Korah. Mm. This goes to show you that just because your daddy was no good, down and dirty, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to distort your destiny. Amen. Right. Right. The Korahites, the Korahites became doorkeepers and custodians for the tabernacle. So you can read the epitaph in Psalm 84 when they say, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God Amen. than dwell in the tents of the week. Amen. In fact, one of the Korahites 
joined King David, and mm. they became known for militants and war, expert warriors. Uh -huh. But however, the most remarkable thing about the sons of Korah, during the time of David, they became great leaders in the choral and orchestral music and the tabernacle and worship. And David formed an elaborate organization for song, instrument, music, and prophesying among the <clears throat> men. It was the song of Korah that says, as the deer panted after the water was, uh -huh. so panted my soul after thee, O oh God. The superscript says that it is the song upon Alamon. Alamon was the key, Brother Howard, in which the song should be sung. Mm -hmm. It was to be sung by soprano and female voices. Mm -hmm. right. Although it was for the sons of Korah specifically written for the women to sing, the Alamon women were the women who were seeking the coming Messiah. Mm -hmm. This was to be sung in a tabernacle by women. It was only in the temple of the New Testament that we see a separate court. Yeah. The women. Stay with me if you will. They were not originally kept out of worship. Now this new temple was segregated, much like our churches today. Mm -hmm. uh, they had four courts. The courts of the Gentiles was the outermost court. Mm -hmm. The only area where the, the, the non-Jews were allowed to worship. And the name implies that they were impure. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't go deep into the house of the Lord. There the worships could have, they could exchange money and, and buy animals for sacrifices. Mm -hmm. But it was in this court, if you remember, that Jesus drove out the money changers, mm -hmm. declaring that it is written that my house should be called a house of prayer. Yes, sir. And you have made it a den of yes, yeah. And the other court was reserved for those who figured to be pure Jewish men with no mm -hmm. mixed blood. Yeah, the quote, ceremony clean Jewish meat. Mm -hmm. Then there was a court of the priests where the altar stood, and it was only accessible to the Levitical priest. Then the court of women, the only area where the temple complex where the women could worship even with their kids. And it contained what we call poor boxes. One of those boxes were when that poor widow offered the two mites, y'all remember that? When, when Jesus said to the self-righteous Pharisees and he was looking down how powerful they thought they were, how much money they thought they were getting, and oh. Jesus looked and he saw that woman put in two mites and he said that she gave more than they did. All right. And then his disciples asked him, why? why? Why would you say that, Jesus? He said, because they gave out of their wealth. Mm -hmm. She gave out of her poverty Amen. and she put everything she had to live on in. Now, Bible study, the reason for the separation is that the rabbis claimed that it would be indiscreet to ask a woman if she was on her menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. because in that case, she would be ceremonially unclean. Mm -hmm. And then they feared that even if she said she wasn't, that even while she was in church, her menstrual cycle would start to flow mm -hmm. and everybody would come unclean. Mm -hmm. uh, however, but in Mark chapter <clears throat> 5, when Jesus walked the earth and there was a woman with an issue of blood mm -hmm. who touched the hem of his garment, preach, Pastor J, mm -hmm. he was not unclean. The Bible said that she was made clean. Mm -hmm. And the blood immediately dried up. So if we look at Psalm 46, verse 1, the Bible said, God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge, a, a condition being safe or sheltered from the pursuit of danger or trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't need a refuge unless you are in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, with refuge, you, you don't need to run and be scared of anybody anymore. You're safe under his protection. It says God is our refuge and strength. Mm -hmm. So God is not just to protect. He's not just a big brother for those who can't fight for themselves. All right. Yeah, when he protects you, it's with the idea that you're going to be stronger the next time. And when this situation comes up again, you're going to be strong enough to fight the battle. All right. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You do know that there are some battles that are for the Lord, but these little battles, you ought to be used to those by now. Mm -hmm. You can fight 
on your own. Yeah. It's a sad Christian who refuses to gain strength from the shelter that God provides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't be scared of everything all the time. Come on now. If, if you go through the same thing and you haven't recognized that God is in the midst of it, you're still weak. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I hate hanging around weak people. Uh, Paul says that you're on milk. Yeah. That's the way he put it. I, I, he said, I can't give you solid food yet because you're still crying like a baby. Yeah, look at y'all, all wet behind the ears, breath smelling like Similac. Everything that come up on you, you think everything is going to turn out. God is still in the midst of it. Oh, yeah, I can't stand me, people, because everything is always the worst. Mm. Every argument ends in divorce. Every meeting we're going to get fired. Every bill is going to be repossession. Every sickness is unto death. God said, take a chill pill. Amen. I got it. Yeah, yeah. The psalmist said, watch this, a very present help in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Can I go deep? Yeah. Okay. The NIV puts it real funny. I love the NIV because it says ever present. See, this word ever present in the Greek is called panta. Everybody say panta. Panta, panta means always, everywhere. Did y'all get it? <laughs> always, everywhere. Okay, my grandmother who had a country dialect would say it like this. Maybe he's here, there, and up yonder at the same time. And that's the way she would put it. Now, he is the same God that can spin the earth on his finger like a cosmic roll truck. Mm -hmm. And he can build on a circus act by juggling the moon and the sun by day and night. Mm -hmm. Watch this, he can watch over you on your job mm -hmm. and cover your kids at school. Mm -hmm. He can lay down a night nice shift to rest at morning. And when you get up in the morning, he has touched you with his finger of love to beat your golden years to go on a little while longer, all at the same time. He is ever present. Amen. Is there anybody in here who's glad that we serve an ever present God? Yes. Yeah, I know I prayed for you because you have some trouble, but guess what? I have some troubles too. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I'm calling to God for you, I need him at the same time. Right. Somebody say, preach, young man, preach. preach, young man, preach. Yeah, I'm so glad that we don't have to pull a ticket and wait in line. Yeah. I'm so glad that we don't have to talk to a computer or ask for a service. Don't you just right. hate it? Please pay attention because I mean you has changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that your God, my God, our God, mm -hmm. doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, yeah. today, and forevermore. Yeah. Why? Because he's ever present. Yeah. And in verse 2, watch what it says. Therefore, will not we fear? OMG, here comes that four-letter word. Fear. Oh, God. Now, now, I claim this more than anybody. Brother David, scared for what? Yeah, I, I know that we're not called to be scared because God didn't give us the spirit of fear. But if I can just be transparent for a moment. Sometimes something will overtake you so powerful yeah. that it'll scare the daylights out of you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, maybe y'all never been on, that was strong. Yeah. Uh, uh, me and the reason why we're so scared is that we're always in charge. Mm -hmm. Always Mr. Fix-It. Mm -hmm. Always got it together. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I tell you, something will come upon you sometimes that will break you down mm. to your lowest terms. Mm. Oh, I had that experience uh, about a few weeks ago, maybe. Y'all never been through that. But when that blood clot came in my lungs and I couldn't catch my breath, mm. I realized, Brother David, I wasn't in charge. Yeah. Did y'all right. hear me? Yeah. I couldn't right. fix it. Mm. I couldn't call nobody. All I could do was pray to the living God, the one who gave me the breath of life, yeah. to breathe into my nostrils mm. and beat my golden years to go on a little while longer. Yeah. Mm. yeah, before I went to that procedure, I told my wife, I said, read Psalm 27. Mm. The Lord is my light. Yes, he is. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be a fear? Because I ain't scared of nobody. Yes. Yeah. I was raised up in the project. Y'all hear me? Yeah. But if I could just be transparent, uh, I didn't have her to read that because I had it all together. Mm. I had her to read that. To remind me not of who I was, yeah. on, but of who he was. Yeah. Yeah. Because, watch this, watch this. If 
the refuge means that our safe place, our retreat, the place when we go, when we are afraid. Did y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe, it, maybe it's just me. But when I got down to verse 13, watch what it said. I knew everything was going to be all right, Sister Kate. This is what it said. Oh I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord yeah. when in the land of the living. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Maybe God don't pray for me. Yeah. But I asked the church to pray for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When I was going through, mm -hmm. watch this. <coughs> I can hear the prayers of the church. Y'all yeah. know what Brother Frank said. Being him to have a little more teaching and preaching mm -hmm. to go on many more days. Mm -hmm. I can hear all the prayers. Mm -hmm. And watch this. I was like Kirk Franklin. Devil, you can't take my job. Oh, well, I began to be like Popeye. I was Amen. Amen. Yeah, I got my strength back. Yeah. Because I knew I was a refugee yeah. in the hands yeah. of a mighty God. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation oh, yeah. where God had to hold you? Yeah. Because you couldn't hold yourself. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. it's just me. Let me move on. Yeah. In three B, this is what it says. Though the earth be removed, yeah. mm -hmm. and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters roar and be troubled, mm -hmm. though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Salah. Okay, y'all didn't get it. Mm -hmm. This is what it means. If everybody is acting a fool, oh, they don't have nothing to do with you. <laughs> if everybody is scared and shaking out of their boots yeah. mm -hmm. out there, they ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in here. Okay, I take security for the fact that when God created the sun, the moon, and the earth, mm -hmm. that they were obedient way much more than men was. Mm -hmm. The earth is still spinning, the sun and the moon is still shining, yes, sir. but man is all over the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's why the scripture declared, when I consider thy handiwork and how you make the sun, the moon, and the stars, he said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Or oh, the son of man that thou visited him. Yeah, oh, but there are some things that will make even the earth start shaking. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, if ye have the faith and grain the size of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, remove to yonder place. Did y'all hear that country yeah. down there? Yeah. It's yeah. to yonder place, <laughs> and it shall be removed. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. No matter what catastrophe comes our way, right. from cancer to COVID, from tornadoes to terrorist attacks, yeah. from on, pandemics man. to protests, from balloons flying over the Pacific, mm -hmm. God's presence is with us, and we have nothing to fear. Amen. Take a chill. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Hey. Verse 4, verse 4. Come on here. There is a river, uh -huh. the streams where shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. It said, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. Okay, I, 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 really, I really had to research this because I had to make y'all understand what God was really doing here. God is in the midst of her. Who is her? The earth. Who is the earth? That's us. Mm -hmm. His people. Mm -hmm. And then it says, she shall not be moved. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all didn't get it yet. Let me try it again. All the blessings and the provisions are coming to us. Mm -hmm. The city of God. And watch this. Even when there's trouble around. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, still y'all didn't get it. Can I go deeper? Mm -hmm. Because of his presence, it says that she is firmly set than the earth which may be removed. <laughs> see, see, the city is so established because God has helped her. So the psalmist is saying that no matter what natural disasters may occur, no matter how terrible things get, even if the earth and the mountains won't behave, take a chill pill, we will not fear because God is going to set you on solid ground. That's right. That's right. Okay. Right. 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 Take a chill pill. Yeah, he was scared, wasn't he? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Even if the earth starts shaking and spinning out of control, they say he will plant you on firm ground. Mm. Okay, let me go to Pastor Jay. Pastor Jay, what you got to say about that? Won't he lift you up? Yes, Won't he turn really. you around? Won't he place your feet yes, on solid ground? Okay, watch this, y'all. God shall help her in that right earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 
Pastor John said that that sounds like some Ebonics to me. Hmm. Right early. What does right early mean? It's like the summons of speaking biblical Ebonics. And if I was speaking Ebonics, I would say it like this. Uh, I, I would say that he should help us already. Mm -hmm. Maybe y'all didn't go up in the oh, yeah. Let me try it again. Show up. Already. Yeah. Show your right. No, no, no. See, that, that's what it means. Uh, uh, have you ever been in a right early situation? Yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, I found myself in a right early situation. Yeah, when you get that phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning, mm. that's a right early mm -hmm. situation. Yeah, yeah you, your good job gave you the pink slip. That's a right early situation. That ugly Negro left you with all them kids talking off with somebody else. That's a right early situation. Yeah, the test came back positive. Oh, that's a right early situation. But the Bible says, he who keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. So if Jesus is going to be up, then you should lay down and rest. Take a chill pill. God is in control. Just come in the nick of time, he was always there. Always. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to handle it yourself, you will be scared. As I close this message, if you look at the end of verse 3, it says, Selah. Hmm. Now, Pastor Johnson, the, what they teach us in school is that you don't read Selah. Because Selah means to rest. Because we're talking to the choir. And he's looking at the choir like, you know, close it. Nobody say nothing. <laughs> Just let the music play. Watch this. It means think about it. Mm -hmm. huh, chill. Relax. Reminisce. Before you go to the next verse, watch this. Because you need to be reminded mm -hmm. of the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I got. I got to go. I got to go. Salah. Rest. Think about it. You're doing too much. Slow down. My grandmother would say, sit down somewhere. Okay? And, and, and let things go as God has planned them to go. Do y'all remember when they went to that Red Sea and Moses looked at them? And you know, the Red Sea was in front of them. And Pharaoh's men was behind them. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Imagine how scary that was. Right, right. Okay? Now, some <clears throat> fools, and I wasn't there. But I just know somebody was going to look and go, I can make it. Mm -hmm. Somebody was going to drive in right, right, and start right. trying to swim across because they didn't want to be attacked by the men. Mm -hmm. I know somebody was trying to test the waters mm -hmm. to see how deep it was. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To see how long they can hold their breath. Mm -hmm. Trying to grab a piece of wood to see can they load on it by themselves. Mm -hmm. But Moses, he mm -hmm. stood there and he mm -hmm. raised up that he said, Stand still. Come on, Y'all didn't get it, did you? <laughs> he said, I know you're in a panic, but he said, stand still. And what? Can you let him finish that verse? And see the salvation of the Lord. He said, stand still when all of the trouble comes upon you and you can't do nothing else about it. He said, stand still. Relax. Take a chill pill. Salah. Let it resonate on the goodness that God has done. Yeah. Now, as I close this sermon, when it's out of your hands, mm -hmm. you can be stretched out. Mm -hmm. Your job, your life, your finances, your health, mm -hmm. all of it in trouble. Mm -hmm. Don't let the good looks fool you right mm -hmm. now. You can have some trouble yeah. in your life. Oh, yeah. It's in this situation where God says, Sila. Mm -hmm. Take a chill pill. Yes. Gain your comfort yes. and strength from remembering that what I have all ready done. Yeah. Yeah. So, Brother Howard, I got to go. But I asked myself the question well, what did he do, mm. Pastor Jack? Okay, y'all didn't get it. Uh, I'm in trouble right now. So, you mean to tell me that I can think about something that happened a long time ago that would give me peace? Right now? Yeah. Are y'all really saying yeah. that? Mm -hmm. When you in trouble, do you think about, oh, I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When your car ran out of there, I remember my car ran out of gas, somebody came in. Do you really think about that? All right. When you are in trouble? Mm -hmm. No, you don't think about anything when you're in trouble. It's 
except trying to get out of here. Y'all better be real with me. But one day, on a hill called Cali, somebody better help me. One day, a long time ago, before you were twinkling your daddy's eye, he died. Yes. Yes. Somebody say he died. He died. He died. He died. Yes. The Bible said that he died. Yes. On a hill called Cabin. Hmm. They lift him up. They stretch him wide. Hard. And they hung him high hmm. until he died. Yes. Now watch this. The Bible says that the earth started shaking. Yeah. <laughs> I told y'all yeah. before there's something that may even the earth start trembling. Mm -hmm. The earth, what you're scared of. The earth started shaking. And the Bible said that the son didn't even want to open his eye. He couldn't bear to see it. Because why? He died. He died. But early, somebody say early. Early, early. early Sunday morning, yes, I can hear Jesus say, take a chill. Yes. Yeah, I got this. And the Bible said he got up yes. with all power yes. in his hands. Somebody say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Somebody say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Take a chill pill. Won't he do it for you? Yeah. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Won't he fix your feet? Yes. Won't he put food on the table? Won't he give you hope inside? Won't he give you joy for the money? Somebody say, won't he do it? 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 Won't he do it?